Hey guys, how are we doing? Just gonna wait for my social media devices to catch up and see who we get. Um, got a good five minutes before we get going. So if you've got mats to put down, pop your mat down. Uh, make sure you've got a bit of space of you around you. It's all on the floor tonight, which is a good thing because if I stand up, you won't be able to see my head. Um, because of the camera, camera angle I have set up. So uh, how many of you are participating this evening then? Who have I got? Give us a wave or find an emoji with that yoga pose on. <laughs> Is there a yoga pose emoji? I don't know. I'll find out. Oh, I've got Jane and Sophie at the moment who I can see apparently. Are we all on the floor tonight? Who's doing what? Come on, talk to me. <laughs> Somebody's giving me a thumbs up. I'm short sighted. Oh, Jane. Wave and yoga pose. That's made me smile. <laughs> oh, Sophie's holding a yoga pose as well. Brilliant. Fantastic stuff. Oh, I've said it again. Oh, stop saying that word. <laughs> I hope you watched this morning's chapter, otherwise you're probably thinking, what am I doing? And it's just killed you. Lovely. She has that effect. <laughs> All good though. Here we go. <laughs> Anybody else care to uh, send me a yoga pose? Nope. Maybe. What time we got? Four minutes. So difficult chatting to myself. Bit weird. Please interact with me. <laughs> uh, oh, just seeing me flicking myself on my nose, that's probably the bit that you're on right now. So I have done a music check uh, with myself. We'll see what happens. No idea who that person is. No idea. Um, but I will get you to double check with me shortly. Um, it's all on the ground if you just literally come in um, from the last live. Um, so lots of stretching on the floor. Uh, we're going to hit lower body. Anna did a fantastic job. Oh, stop saying fantastic. Uh, but she did a really good job <laughs> on, what day was it? Wednesday, stretching out your upper body. So... Uh, I'm hoping we're all stretched out. Hey, Pete and Elaine are here. Cool, that's good stuff. Um, so yeah, just make sure you've got a mat to lie down on or a comfy bit of carpet. I wouldn't fancy lying down on the patio ground outside, to be honest. But whatever floats your boat. Again, I must, um, what's the word? It's a disclaimer. I'm not yoga trained, so it's not yoga, it's stretch. But as a level three personal trainer and all my other qualifications, uh, we do cover a whole lot of stretching. So uh, the stretches, they're a guide. Uh, everybody has a different level and range of flexibility. So if I'm in a particular stretch and I'm managing to get a little bit lower or deeper into it than you are, don't try and copy me. But in the same respect, if you can get deeper into a stretch, uh, and you can surpass my level, then please go for it. Everybody knows, that, well, you should know your own abilities. If it hurts, and I mean like absolute pain and agony, get out of the stretch. If you can feel a little bit of a pull, and it's actually a nice pull, like a release, then that's all good. If it's a pull as if it's about to tear, not so good. Get out of there, yeah? So, give you another couple of minutes, and then we'll get going. I'm just going to put the music on, so let me know what we think. Is it loud enough? Is it too loud? You tell me. Lately I'm getting your I'll give you a minute or two to catch up. You got me through and things I never thought I'd do. Who's going to be the first to tell me? Never spent so long Am I clear? <laughs> Giving up, don't see so much. Gotta love social media, right? Yeah. 
into my elbows and I can lift my forearms off the floor so don't push your body weight forward push it back and down now can you feel it right into that hip in the groin area yeah hold it there breathe through it if it's a little bit too uncomfortable and you can always lift out if you need to Now from there what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my hands wide and I'm going to try and drop my chest down a little bit lower to the floor. Now I am putting a little bit more pressure into my arms and I'm loading my chest a touch. Now I can feel that really start to hit into my hip flexors even more so and the top of my inner thigh. So walk those hands out nice and wide. If you can, you can rest a little bit lower down towards the ground even put your chin on the floor but don't put too much weight body weight onto your neck so i'm just turning my head again i'm putting a little bit of the pressure into my forearms this time i'm not putting the pressure so don't push your weight forward keep it towards the back From there, slowly walk your fingertips in towards you, just so you can lift your chest back up again. And again, sit back into it, so push yourself back, lift your chest up. So we're all sitting to attention. And from there, all I want you to do is just tilt forward and bring the knees back underneath you. Give yourself a minute, just roll up. And then we'll release one leg at a time. So I'm just going to move to one side of my back. Take one leg out to the side. And if you can, line it up so your knees and your toes are in line. And again, push your hips down towards the ground. You're going to get a release on the inner thigh. Stay in that position, so stay nice and low. From there, all I want you to do is lift up and then just change over. So drop the other knee down, pop the leg nice and long and drop the hips into it. You may find that one side's a little bit 
loose up than the other, so the other side's tighter. So feel it down the back of the leg and also the inner thigh as well. Push your butt back in there. Now from there, back to kneeling, so both knees underneath you, and you've got an option, you either can jump out into this, like a box split, but low, it doesn't have to be a full on split, mine will not be, or you can walk it out, so you choose. So I'm jumping my feet nice and wide, get to the point where you can feel the stretch, but it's not too much. Okay, and again, pushing the hips and the foot back and down. I'm feeling both of my inner thighs now and a little bit of the hamstrings. Hands are just underneath my shoulders, just there to support me, but if I was to lift my hands, I'm using my legs to stretch out. Okay, so I'm not putting, pushing my body weight into that stretch. Use your core, so brace it nice and tight. From there, loop round and push your arms towards the ceiling if you can. So have a little bit of an upper back release as well as releasing the inner thighs. Again, go to your depth and hold it there. Breathe through it. Okay, now this is going to hit our glutes as well as our inner thighs and our hip flexors. So again, get to the depth that you need to. If you need to be a little bit higher out of it, then sit a little bit higher out of it. Okay, now we're going to hold it here. Can you feel the inner thighs? I know I can. Now we're going to breathe through it just a little bit longer. You've got another 20 seconds. And then we're going to just come up into the release and touch more. You don't have to put your hands in this position if you don't want to, guys. I'm just finding it quite useful to push my palms together to drive my knees out. Right, slowly put your hands back down to the ground. Tilt forward and just put your knees underneath you, okay? We're going to take our knees wide again, push up towards the back. So knees wide and just push towards the back. Keep the chest up. You should feel a little bit of a stretch through the lower back as well. From there, take one leg out to the side, but this time, point the toes towards the ceiling, okay? So I'm resting on the one knee, hands are just there for support where it's comfortable. Got a straight leg, I'm pointing my toes towards the ceiling. Now from there, same leg, just turn it so the toes are facing forward in the knee. And then just sink into it a little bit. Release it so the toes are facing towards the ceiling. Again, that's really going to work that groin and their hip flexor joint. Feeling a little bit in the back of this thigh as well here. Take it towards the front. Place your hands down. And then bring that knee back underneath you. We're going to do the same on the other side. So, nice long straight leg. Point the toes towards the ceiling. Just support yourself. Sink into it and slowly turn the toes forwards. Sink into it a little bit. Level it out, toes back towards the ceiling. And that's the foot. 
take the knees back underneath the hips, okay? We're gonna go into child's pose. So knees underneath the hips, push your butt back over your heels and nice and flat towards the ground, okay? Head down so you can rest the top of your head on the floor. And nice length through the fingertips. So reach or creep the fingertips forward a fraction. Feel like your shoulders release a little bit. with this next stretch too so if you can hold on to the shin drive your hips forward again again if you need to balance yourself out go for it so I'm hitting my hip flexors and I'm also also hitting my quad too it's not pleasant hold it Ooh, I don't know, but let's not do that show me if you need to drop that back foot, you can release that if you need to. Okay, let's take one more. 
release that foot slowly. Now we're going to turn around and do it exactly the same with the other leg. So the other leg, 90 degree on the front leg, just start by pushing into it. So we'll start off just by getting into that movement before we lift that back leg. So hips are forward and down, chest is lifted, feel it hit that hip flexor a little bit. Right, if you're feeling it, grab onto that back shin. If you don't want to intensify the stretch, you don't have to. You always find one side is tighter than the other. I think I've found mine. Again, push into it. I feel that in my hip a little bit higher. seconds here and then we're going to change the stretch kind of right slowly release that back one okay i'm going to turn back around again i'm going to go back to my original side so i've got my 90 degree bend on this one leg i'm pushing my hips into it okay and this time what i'm going to do i'm going to twist over that front knee so i'm twisting over the front knee that i've got raised that's what I want you to do, I want you to hold it there. Ripping all the air inside my lungs, ripping all the skin from off my bones. I'm prepared to sacrifice my life, I would gladly do it twice. Come back to the front, and then slowly back off into it, and get your hamstring stretch. So reach down through the body, reach towards your toes, try and get your chest as close to that front thigh as you possibly can. Now can you feel the release running all the way up the back of the leg, probably hitting the glutes as well. If you can't, try and sink a little bit lower into it. Right, slowly turn around, face the other way. 90 degree on the front leg, push the hips into it and then twist over that front knee. Now you also feel it in the top of the hip too, I can feel a little bit. Slowly release back and point the toes towards the ceiling. Again, you'll always have one slightly tighter side than the other. Try and get your chest down towards that thigh. Alright, take a breath, ease out of it, and we'll go back into that wide knees. So drive the knees a little bit wider. You may find that because we've mobilised those hips and joints a little bit long, uh, for longer, we can get our knees a bit wider. Come down to your elbows, push your butt towards the back. And if you can, just shuffle the knees out a little bit wider. Again, only go as far as they allow you. Don't force it. Now I'm going to take my arms wide and forwards. So I'm going to try and drop my chest down towards the ground. This is what we might, I can't lose my head on this one. If you can't see my head, don't worry. <laughs> probably wonder where I'm talking out of, but a lot of you probably can already guess that anyway. It's not right, it's not right, it's just too hard. Right, slowly walk the fingertips in. And bring the knees back under the hips again, okay? Walk nice and straight, let's give those hips just a little bit of a release, okay? So if you want to just crouch and lift a touch. Right, we're going to go back into that squat position. So again, you choose either jump it or step it. Stay low in the squat and make sure everything is aligned, okay? Lift the chest and again, you can drive the knees out. I tend to use my palms together to push the knees nice and wide. Feeling it in my glutes. Again, also feeling it hit my inner thighs and those hip flexors. They are really tight. If you need 
to lift a little bit higher out of this stretch, please do so. Now from here, I'm just going to loop my hands through towards my ankles, just to get a little bit deeper into that stretch. If you need to come out of it and reach the back of your calves or back of your knees, go for it. Just get to whatever's going to give the most to you without causing any, well, too much pain. Now slowly, just push your butt towards the back. So I'm getting the straight legs now, straight legs. So that should give a nice big release. Does that feel any better for that? Or have I just crippled us all? I'm trying to put off the next stretch because I really, really don't like it. <laughs> but we'll do it. <laughs> it's like the hurdle stretch, this one. Right, slowly come back down to the floor. So however you want to get down there, okay? I'm going to give a little bit more release because they're still a touch tight. So push back into child's pose. Walk the fingertips forward nice and flat down to the ground. Walk those fingertips away from you, you're going to feel your upper back. And push your butt away from you, you're going to feel it in your glutes. And touching the quads too. Right, all I'm going to do from here, I'm going to lift up a little bit. And I'm just going to bring my one leg through to 90 degrees in front of me. I'm going to place my knee on the floor and my ankle, okay? I might shuffle that way a touch. Then I'm going to drop my back hip. And you can choose, you can either drop that knee, so again, a 90 degree bend, or you can have a straight trailing leg. You choose. Now from there, try and keep the hips square to the front. Take your hands wide and drop your chest down as low as you can get it without compromising that 90 degree bend on that front shin. Now already I can feel that my hip flex is released quite a bit because normally I can't get to this position. So I'm hoping that we're getting our chest as low to that front shin and thigh as possible. But again, you're working at your own level. I can't take my other arm straight because there's a door in the way. But if you can get a bit lower, go for it. Breathe through it. I'm gonna cross my arms and drop down as low as I possibly can. How are we doing, boys? Feet nice and wide. We'll just stay here for a second until we stretch off the other side. Reach for both shins. Again, if you can drop your chest and touch the floor, go for it. I may have loosened my hip flexors a tad, but nowhere near enough to get my chest on the floor. If you want to reach for your toes and bring your toes towards you as you stretch them up, you're going to get your hamstrings hit too. Might feel it in your abdominals a little bit from here. Right, sit up out a bit, and change sides. So, get your 90 degree bend on your front chin. Oh, this is where we find out which is the stronger or the tighter side. From there, again, you choose either a straight trailing leg or a 90 degree bend. Take the hands wide and drop the chest down towards the ground. Now, ideally, I'm trying to get my hip to touch the floor. At the moment, there's a big old gap there. And also, this butt is lifted. So I've got a really tight quad, got a really tight hamstring, and I've got really tight glutes. That's what I'm learning out of all this. Now if you can, again, try and drop to your elbows. That glute does not want to release on this side. 
breathe through it. Counting days, counting days since my love up and go lost on me. And every breath that I've been taking since you live feels like a waste on me. Slowly sit up out of it. Both feet in front of you. So from here, all I'm going to do is just going to reach for my toes or reach for your heels, whatever you want to do. Lean into it. I've been told, I've been told to get you off my mind But I hope I never lose the bruises that you left behind Oh my lord, oh my lord, I need you by my side Lie down There must be something in the water Take one leg to the ceiling Hold on to the back of the calf And slowly bring it towards you You keep my Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, pull your leg a little bit closer towards you. So breathe in, and out, a little bit deeper into that stretch. Oh, they're tight. No idea you can pick up the shaking on my leg. If your legs are shaking massively, don't go too deep into that stretch. They shouldn't shake too much. I'm just going to release that one off a little bit. It's not happy. I never lose the bruises that you left behind. Oh my lord, oh my lord, I need you by my Change side. Change legs. There must be something in the water. Cause every day it's getting colder. Breathe in. As you breathe out, pull it in a touch. You Sounds a bit happier. Right, slowly relax the legs down, and then what you're going to do this time is you're going to cross one leg over. So cross one leg over, scoop through, and pull that towards you. This one's good. Lower back, glutes, and hip flexor release. Ticking a lot of boxes tonight, guys. Now the biggest release I can feel is here. So that's where you should feel quite a big release. So pull that knee towards your chest. Even though I'm nothing to you now, there must be something in the water. Change legs. Every day it's getting colder. But if only I could hold you, you'd keep my head from going under. There must be something in the water. Cause every day it's getting colder. Right, from here, knees to 90, and just push your knees slowly away from you. It's Googling it, I think it's called Happy Baby. <laughs> well, it's opening that hip flexors. It's a little bit weird to be honest, I'm glad I'm on a side angle. less pressure in it compared to what we were doing to begin with. Bring the knees towards you. Now I want you to keep the knees to 90, drop the legs to one side and your arms to the other. You should feel the lower back release here. Again, shoulders are really tight. So if you have got a really tight upper back and shoulders, Revisit Wednesday session that Anna did because it's a really good release. Bring the knees to 90 and change sides. Slowly. Bring the knees back to 90, just release the legs off, okay? So straight legs, if you've got enough space, and just take a second or two. We're gonna go back into child's pose just to finish off our last minute, and hopefully
hopefully legs fin tad happy with us. So you lift, turn onto your knees, standard child's pose. So push the butt back over the heels, walk the fingertips forward, get the length out of the spine and relax the feet off. Just a one minute hold guys and then you can begin your Friday night relax. athletic hit, you've got me with core and then you've got Heather on the evening with the Pokemon Combat. Um, keep in touch, there's going to be things that we're going to post over the weekend so we're not just cutting you loose, okay? Uh, stay in touch, stay safe and uh, look after yourselves guys. Happy Friday team and uh, catch you next week.